Hi parents, it is me, Miss Catherine. I wanted to take a second and give you guys some information on some changes we will be making to our COVID safety protocols. Now we have a safety committee uh, that is part of our board of directors uh, with some additional community members as part of that committee. And they meet generally every month and that safety committee has been instrumental in helping us plan and decide what our safety protocols would be over the last year. Now at our last meeting, we took into consideration the super low number of local active COVID cases. I believe um, as of last week, we had only 11 active COVID cases in Brown County. We have also looked at the drastically decreasing cases statewide, uh, as well as the increased percentage of the population who has been fully or partially vaccinated and uh, how those trends have been going. The safety committee has made the decision to start slowly rolling back some of our safety protocols as they relate to COVID. We will continue to meet regularly and assess this data. And should we have any major changes, a major spike in local cases or statewide cases um, moving from a downward trend to an upward trend, anything that is concerning, we, we may go back to how we are doing things currently but with the way things are going, with the low number of local cases and all of these other factors, um, we feel comfortable doing a slow rollback of policies one at a time and starting to transition back closer to our traditional model of activities. So what we are doing for this first round is we are going to be keeping all of the kids in their same 10 person, 10 member groups. Um, the only thing that is going to be changing is that our staff members, instead of rotating through activities with their assigned groups, our staff members are going to go back to being assigned to an activity area. Now, if you've had kids in the club longer than about a year, this is how we have done things in the past. This is the traditional model of our activities. Um, our staff members are assigned to activity areas based on their strengths, their skills, and their interests, and they plan the activities for all of the groups of kids in that one room for the day. So we'll have somebody assigned to the art room, somebody assigned to the computer room, game room, gym, homework room, all of it. Now, like I said, the club members will stay in their groups of 10 right now. So really the only change is that instead of traveling from, from one activity to the next with their assigned staff member, they will be moving from one activity with one staff member to their next activity with another staff member. Um, we think this is going to be really good for our kids and our staff to give them a break from each other. Uh, it also is going to increase the quality of our programming by going back to allowing our staff to really focus on the areas that they do best. Um, because for the last year, uh, they have been working very hard to plan and lead activities in areas that they may have no experience in. We've got sports people leading arts and crafts. We have arts and crafts people leading sports. Um, and they've been doing a wonderful job but it is a very tiring model and so we are very excited to get back to some higher quality programming and letting our staff really shine in their specific areas where they do best um, like I said if there are any changes if any of these trends shift and start going the opposite direction we will reconsider and if we need to we will go back to the previous model of assigned staff with their groups um, but for the month of april we are going to step back one step closer to normal give this a try um, parents, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to give me a call. I am up at the club. Today is Friday. I'll be here probably till about 12 or 1. You can call the club 325-641-2582 or you can send a message on Remind. Um, that's the texting app where you get communication from me and Miss Debbie and I'll be able to respond through there. Um, now once again the only change we are making is that instead of staff moving with the members, staff are going to be assigned to their activity areas. Club members are still going to follow the same activity schedule that they have been following. We are still sanitizing the building every day. Um, each staff member will have sanitizing uh, sanitizing equipment in their room and they can sanitize the tables and things as needed um, if we've got kids who are having coughing or sneezing, things like that. Um, that is pretty much it for today. We do appreciate your patience over the last year as we have had to change every aspect of what we are doing. Um, and like I said, please contact me with any questions. Um, the club number is 325-641-2582 or you can send me a message on Remind. Thank you and have a great day.